Hi, it's Dr. Faith talking about the realities of love, life, and leadership. So I'm still on my love kick. And um, today I want to talk about um, something that happens to a lot of us, I think, especially uh, people that are leaders or in ministry or people that are really waiting for uh, a mate. And that is we confuse um, people that God has brought to us to help grow in God as potential mates. So uh, today I want to talk about um, people who are not really our mates but are there for ministry and how to be able to discern when someone is um, around us because God is bringing them to us so that we can pour into them and not necessarily for us to start making wedding plans um, of how, you know, we're going to be the best wife to them. So this happens a lot, like I said, especially uh, to women. I know it happens to men a lot and a, a lot of it as well, to men a lot as, uh, as well. But I think a lot of it has to do with that readiness to be married and if you're in that position where you you know you got you know God's going to bring it at any moment or at any day um that you kind of keep that open but another reason it happens is if you're a leader if you're called to pour into people uh, if you're a counselor people are naturally drawn to you or if you just carry the presence of God you'll find that people are naturally attracted to you and sometimes those people will be the opposite sex and the Lord will actually bring them to you so that you can help them learn an aspect of God or even learn how to model a healthy relationship with a man or with a woman that they haven't had in the past. And so it's really, really important for you to be able to discern so that you don't get your emotions uh, involved and you're not, um, you know, already planning things out when and then they fall apart. And it's hard for the, uh, the person to discern as well because they like you. They like, you know, what you say to them and being around you and sometimes those types of emotions can be confused as romantic um, emotions and it cause um, a big problem. So it's really, really important to be discerning and it goes back to you kind of knowing um, some of the core values that you're looking for in a mate um, and you can usually discern or when you're talking to someone can kind of feel like, hey, they need to grow in this area or they're not that mature in this area or in your conversations, they have a lot of questions about God or the gifts of the spirit or worship or whatever you do and you, you can, you know, and they're asking you about them. It's not they're trying to develop a conversation. They're really trying to inquire about that. So you want to focus on the content of your conversations. Um, and once again, it's hard if you're both attracted to each other or you feel this vibe. It's really, really important. And uh, the big part is you as a person who's more spiritually mature, really praying and saying, God, you know, what do I have in me that could possibly be attracting this person to me? And before you look at the physical characteristics or even the spiritual um, um, the physical characteristics look at the spiritual qualities. Um, it has happened to me several times, and I've had to actually tell mentees, like, hey, you know, I know that it feels like we're closer than we really are, but I feel like the Lord has um, brought you here. And these are mentees before I started my mentorship program. Um, this is when I was growing up and trying to learn how to flow in all these things. But I, I realized those, uh, you know, uh, attraction-forming with the young man, and I had to say, hey, I really feel like... Um, God brought you here so I could teach you some things. I know we get along really well. We laugh, um, but this is what it is. And so for us to move forward, we have to have those clear boundaries and both be okay with that. And if we're not, uh, or if emotions have already been involved so much, then we need to separate. And that's what happened, and um, it's just important to clear on because you're not going to be able to effectively disciple someone or mentor someone whose heart is very tender towards you because if you need to bring correction or if you say things they don't like, they're going to take it on beyond just what you said to um, involve some of their emotional things as well. So I just really encourage you to really use discernment. Don't let your own desires and your own emotions have you attached to people that that the Lord has brought to you to pour into or to minister to. God is going to bring someone who um, is going to do that for you and you're going to be able to do that for them as well. But if their relationship is more you teaching someone and you growing them up in the word and growing them up in faith, most likely it's a ministry assignment and not your mate. 
All right, be blessed. The blog will be up on Ask Dr. Faith. You can check it out. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.